Hello and welcome to this AppSense demonstration of Application Manager's ANAC feature. ANAC stands for Application Network Access Control. During this demonstration, I'm going to show you how Application Manager can manage outbound connections through the WinSock layer to IP addresses, to host names, to URLs and via specific port numbers. The user that I'm connecting as is an external consultant. I'm going to connect to an XP desktop as this user and at the moment my user is not being managed by application managers so no policies are actually being applied to this user. To demonstrate what the user can do at the moment if I go to run remote desktop my user has the ability to connect to different, different machines so here I'm connecting to a, a SQL server and my user also has the ability to remote desktop to another server. So my user can connect to multitude of different IP addresses and different servers. My user also has the ability to connect to a number of network shares. So if I go and browse to specific shares, we can see that my user can see a software share and can access the folders within this software share. You also have access to folders such as the uh, engineering share and also in this demonstration another share called common and we're going to want to manage those and manage access to those shares. My user also has access to the internet and what we can show you here is how we can actually start to manage access to specific URLs. So maybe we don't want the user to be able to browse to certain uh, uh, document access or data access websites such as Dropbox, such as Box. Or maybe we want to allow them to access the corporate version where we can actually access the user's data using DataNow. So that's my user unmanaged. So now I'm going to log off that desktop and put that user into a security group where an application manager ANAC policy is going to apply. I'm going to do that by adding my user, my external consultant, into the ANAC managed security group that I've created. So I'm going to add my consultant into that group. And before I log on as that user, I'm going to show you how we've got this configured in application manager. So here, as you can see, I've got a, an ANAC an ANAC uh, rule, uh, a user group rule. So in that group we will do a number of things. So if we look at the network connections under the prohibited items, so first of all we're going to do a, a deny. We're doing these denies first of all via IP address. So I'm blocking access to all IP addresses that start with 192 dot star dot star dot star and that's via port 3389. So that's the remote desktop protocol port number. So there we go, we're blocking all access to those IP address ranges via port 3389. When we got, with regards to the file shares, we give blocking access to all the file shares that are sat on that server. So this is where the users were accessing them and we're actually blocking that using a wildcard. So we're blocking access to all the file shares and all the subfolders. For the URLs that we want to block access to, so we're doing that by blocking access to Dropbox and also box.com. So we're targeting those URLs. So now my user is in that group. We're going to block access to those, uh, uh, those areas of the network. But we're also going to allow certain areas. So even though we've blocked access to all of the uh, IP addresses via port 3389, we're going to allow access to a specific server. So we've done this by going into the accessible items and my user, my external consultant, is going to be able to access only the Win 2008 R2 desktop or server via port 3389. They won't be able to access any other IP address via remote desktop. I'm also going to allow my user to access a number of the shares. So we're going to access any of the shares that begin with the letter C. So using the wildcard there and including the subfolders. And I'm also going to let my user browse to the software share but this time we're not going to allow them to actually access any of the subfolders within the software share. So if I now log on as my user, again, 
this policy is now going to apply because my user has now been put into the uh, ANAC security group. So if I go now and try and access remote desktop, whereas before my user was able to connect to the SQL server, we can now see the application manager is blocking access to that SQL server and that's via the port, uh, sorry, the, uh, the IP address. However, if my user brow uh, tries to do a remote desktop connection to the server that we've allowed, Win 2008 R2, we see that remote desktop connection is successful. If I now look at the network shares, so whereas before my user had access to all those shares, including the engineering share, if I click OK in there, try and connect to the engineering share, we see that application manager is blocking access to that area on the, uh, the file server. However, we did allow access to other areas of the share, any of the shares that begin with the letter C. So if I go to the common share, the user has access to the common. And also, we said that the user can have access to the software share. However, the user may have access to that software share, but they are blocked from accessing any of the folders within that share. Finally, connecting to the internet. Before my user had access to any website via the URLs, my user can connect to Google, but if my user tries to connect to Dropbox, the uh, application manager is blocking access to Dropbox. The user can, however, connect to DataNow, as we've allowed that, uh, that website. And again, if the user tries to connect to Box, uh, application manager, the ANAC feature, is blocking access to that uh, URL. Thank you for listening. That is the end of the demonstration.